A gifted magician, religious, and caring. Cool, talented, and smart. I think that Sean is fabulous. He's kind and compassionate. I think that Sean is a very nice, respectful, and super smart kid. So I'm gonna make this place When I was little, I was extremely autistic. I was extremely weird and um, it made me feel different as compared to everyone else in the entire world and I felt so alone and that I was the only one. When I think of Sean Bennett I think of three words kind, intelligent, and faithful. When I think of Sean I think of huggable, caring, and amazing. Nice, cool, and gifted. So when Sean was little, um, actually he was seemed like a normal little kid when he was um, like six months to, um, I don't know, probably before he turned about a year or so. Um, he seemed totally normal, um, ate everything, um, just did really, you know, normal baby stuff. And then after that, um, he, I don't know what happened, but he started um, kind of digressing. He would, um, he didn't want to eat very much at all anymore and um, he started doing weird things like um, a little bit older he started like he'd get upset and he'd start banging his head on the wall and he'd run around and like start screaming and flop his arms around and stuff and you know I had a hard time to um, taking him to stores and stuff he'd just start getting really upset and he'd scream he didn't really know how to communicate um, and this was even up until he was like three and a half or so um, he just had a hard time communicating um, and so he would tr cry or he'd scream a lot and um, like when I'd give him a bath or something if I turn the water on he would start screaming and um, my neighbors would wonder what was going on and at that time I didn't really know what was going on um, I just knew that um, there was something wrong so I um, I took him to a place called Child Find, and um, actually that place was in um, Las Vegas, and that's where he was diagnosed with autism. Does that look right? Nah. No? Well, it starts off with an E minor. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay, so it's going to be in G. Okay. Yeah, the whole key thing, it's... I'm just, no, I'm... <laughs> I'm trying. That, that look right? Yeah. I don't know. The poor and powerless And all the lost and lonely All the thieves will come confess And know that you are holy Know that you are holy, and all will sing out hallelujah, and we will cry out hallelujah, and all will sing out hallelujah. Flex, because I want to get on the piano with this one. I haven't played this one before. When I think of Sean, I think of caring, kind, and incredibly creative. Huggable, lovable, and adorable. 
uh, kind, smart, caring. He he would. Um, I know when we were we moved from Las Vegas back up to Truckee when he was about four and a half or five, and um, different things would scare him. Um, if a fire alarm went off at the school or um, if they had a drill, he would get so scared and just start screaming and um, just running around, just not knowing um, how to handle the situation. But um, you know, as time went on, the the teachers were able to just really work with him and calm him down and. Um, Sean, when, when he also was younger, he didn't really know how to express his emotions or his feelings. And so he wasn't, um, he didn't seem to be a real loving child. It was really hard and I'd want to cuddle with him, and, um, and he, he didn't like to really have anybody touch him or anything. And so, um, it was, it was tough, you know, growing up because I, I wanted to hug my little boy and, you know, cuddle with my little boy, but he just, you know, he wasn't comfortable you know, doing that. And so, um, but as time has gone on, you know, he he started, you know, doing a little bit better and showing a little more emotion and understanding how to show emotion through the schooling. I believe that Sean Bennett is sweet, passionate, and a great musician. Kind, caring, and compassionate. I would describe him as lovable, caring, and outgoing. And now, as I've progressed, as I've gotten better, it seems like I'm able to communicate better on my and strengthen my weaknesses. Honestly, I have a hard time with communicating with people and I have a hard time just knowing how people feel a lot of times. But I'm... I'm able to really get into music and um, I really have, have done well in that area and I also love to write and that's something that's really helped inspire me to do other things. Now I'm, I'm trying to work on it. I'm, I've been working on it lately and there's been times where I feel like I'm not doing very good, that I'm still a little awkward around people and a little different to where, and there will be other times where I feel like I'm doing well and that I'm getting along with people. And um, a lot of the changes is just how people were around me. It's family's very encouraging and they've encouraged me to do well and and I'm trying the best I can to do well even though I have my failures at times and um, I I won't ever be perfect but I want to try to do better and better in life I think Sean Bennett's nice funny and cool creative caring spiritual funny Smart and creative. Um, he um, didn't really start to say anything until about four years old, and he would say things like, um, for a, a cracker or something, he would say "akin." Um, he would, you know, say little things, but they weren't the actual words. They were um, other words that he would use instead. Um, one way that Sean was able, that we figured out that he was able to learn was by singing to him. And so we would like sing to him all the time and he was able to kind of pick things up from the singing. And he might not have been able to um, sing the correct words with us, but he pretty much would know how to kind of communicate with us through singing. And um, so that was one thing that was huge help. Um, and as time went on um, through school and a lot of prayer, Sean started just doing better and better. He might have this disability, but it's something that's not going to hold him back, that he just has to try harder at some things. And I think um, with us trying to treat him as normal as possible, just like his other two siblings, um, 
I think that was a really big help as well. And so he didn't feel like he was treated differently. Um, and so now there's a lot of people that can't even tell that Sean is autistic. Um, there's certain little things, you know, he, he likes to maybe keep to himself a little bit, but overall he's, um, he's improved so much. Um, I'm so proud of the, the man that Sean's become and, um, He's just, you know, he's just such an amazing adult now, um, the different gifts that he's been given and, you know, um, God's really used him with being able to play his guitar and um, just he has such a compassionate heart and um, I am just so proud of him now and he's just he's a sweetheart. Great.